This is an interesting one. LilyGo is known for producing development boards, but I wouldn't exactly call this development board. Introducing LilyGo T Keyboard S3 Pro. And here is my program I made for it. I created a tool to assist me in writing code. For example, when I'm coding, I can press button to instantly insert for loop into my code. Other keys are programmed for common structures like if statement, if else statement and while loop. Each press saves me a few seconds and time is money and I need lots of money to achieve my ultimate, ultimate goal which is to, to rule this galaxy of course. This device is essentially programmable for key keyboard with the addition of encoder. In my setup I use the encoder to control my PC audio volume, also a very useful feature. Each key has its own 128 by 128 display, making this very unique and visually impressive gadget for your desk that can be also reprogrammed whenever you need to suit your needs. ESP32 S3 microcontroller supports HID, human interface device, so when I plug this device into my PC, it is recognized as a keyboard. But unlike a regular keyboard that sends only one letter per key press, my device sends entire string of code. Device is fully programmable. I'm I'm currently using it to write code, but there is so many possibilities. You can use to play game, to quickly run your favorite programs, or to program the most frequently used shortcut keys. As I said, possibilities are endless. My code is free and you can find it in the description. It is important to note that uh, this will only work if you are using English or US keyboard layout. If your operating system uses different keyboard layout, you might encounter unexpected characters. You will need to make some adjustments to the code to fix this. What is also great that if you need more keys, you can buy this additional slave module, which can be connected from many sides. There is magnet here you can have up to six slave modules so you can practically have lots of additional keys that's practically it links are in the descriptions you can find my code you can find buying link for this device if you want and now let's check the code and let's see how to transfer my code to this device. So we will start from product page. Here we can find many useful information, but we need this. This, this will lead us to GitHub repository. And what is different than that usual that libraries and examples are hidden in this case. So I need to scroll down. You can check all these informations. There is plenty of good useful informations, but we need to find this ESP32 host device software guidance and we will open this and now we are on another GitHub repository. And here we can find everything we need. First, libraries. So you will download this zip and you will copy all libraries to your Arduino libraries folder. And here you have a few examples which can help you to get started. I practically learned everything from it. And then you can find my code and upload it to your board. 
these are these are settings for Arduino IDE. And keep in mind when you are programming ESP32 board as a HID human interface device, every time you want to upload new code, you will need to reset board to program mode. And to do that, you will need plug off your USB cable, you will press that encoder button, which is boot button on ESP32, and you will plug it, plug USB cable again, and your board will be in program mode, so you can easily program it. Port in Arduino IDE will be visible. And here is my code, which can be quite confusing, because there is lots of things we don't see very often like vectors and some mainly these devices have four screens usually board have only one screen so additional code is mostly because lots of communications about those screens and there is also one more microcontroller inside this board so ESP32 is not alone here but don't be afraid um, key trigger loop this is what will happen if key 1 is pressed this is what will happen if, if key 2 is pressed key 3 key 4 these are strings which will be sent by pressing keys for example first key is for loop this is string for uh, if else statement while loop these are some static text which are shown on display you can change this to suit your needs and what is also very important let me find icon shown so i added this argument chosen if chosen is zero only first display will be updated and this is this code if chosen is one only second display will be updated and at the beginning of the program if chosen is 5 all displays will be updated in the run time we need to update only display which is pressed so there is no need to update all five five of them code is free i know it is a little complicated <laughs> more than usual but i think you will find your way inside of it and that's it i hope you like my little design and this device i added some graphical elements to make more pleasing and to see how much i pressed each button because that is very useful and that will pro probably help me to rule this galaxy overall nice plastic case and yes this gorgeous cable came with this board board came in this box and inside there was lily go t keyboard s3 pro and this nice and high quality cable here is reset button here we have two i square c slots for i square c modules and this practically it very nice high quality and very interesting device i wish i have a whole keyboard with this custom display on it Goodbye.